You can see that the pointing on this lead roof valley has seen better days. In this video I am going to remove the old pointing and replace it with a mix of fibre reinforced mortar mixed with SBR. How to mix that has been covered in another video. I'm doing two roof valleys on this roof which will include moving the scaffold as safety is of paramount importance. I will be switching between the two valleys in order to get the best possible video footage. It's absolutely critical that you use the correct access equipment for getting onto the roof in the first place. You can see here that I have erected the Lobo scaffold tower in such a position that it is impossible for me to fall to the floor and probably to my death if I slip whilst working on the valley. Once you have safe access to the roof you can start by removing the old pointing. This can be done using a bolter chisel and hammer. You will be able to lift most of the tiles in order to remove the large chunks of mortar. Once all the old mortar has been removed we can sweep the valley ensuring it is clean before repointing. I am now mixing some SBR bond with some cement as this makes a suitable primer for the mortar. This can be painted onto the lead and the tiles to ensure that the mortar will stick correctly. The SBR turns blue once mixed with the cement but dries to a cement colour stroke almost clear finish. To demonstrate this I'll paint some onto a scrap piece of timber. You can see that it is a bluish colour. Here is the same piece of timber once the primer has dried. If possible apply the mortar to the primer whilst it is still tacky. I have used a few small blocks of wood to lift the tiles slightly so that I can prime underneath them. I'm only applying a small amount of primer at a time in order to keep it tacky whilst the mortar is applied. When applying the mortar it is important to get as much of it as possible under the tiles. In some cases you can lift the tile slightly whilst you push the mortar to the back of the tile. For this reason I am doing the pointing in two runs. The first run is where a large amount of mortar is pushed under the tiles as far back as possible and the second run is to point the fillet on the front of the tiles to aid with water runoff. I'm using a pointing trowel for placing most of the mortar and a finger pointing trowel to shape the final fillet. You will notice that these tiles have joints in them when pointing the fillet you need to keep the level of the mortar below this joint so any water that gets in the joint can escape. Once you have added the mortar between the tiles and the lead it's important not to stand on the tiles so it's best if you can point one side of the valley one day and then the other side of the valley the next day. If you can't do this just ensure that you stand as far away as possible from the edge of the tiles. I'm now using a finger pointing trowel for the fillet it's best if you push the mortar into the gap and then shape it into a wedge shape. If you find that the mortar is difficult to tool, if you leave it for 10 minutes and then go back and try it again, you should find that it is easier to tool. If you just keep going back at 10 minute intervals, eventually the mortar will be at a consistency where you can tool it off to a nice finish. Again I am ensuring that the phyllotite does not block the drainage channel where the two tiles meet. It does take a couple of hours to repoint each valley especially as you can only mix enough mortar that you can use in about 20 minutes to half an hour. After this time the mortar becomes really difficult to work with. If you find the mix is going too stiff, you can add some more SBR to make it more workable. This is a shot from the roof looking down and you can see that both sides of the valley have been repointed. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and if you have found it useful, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already.